Good morning. Aiden and I are saying good morning. Today we're going to work on hip flexor opening with our yoga practice. It'll be short and sweet. Um, if you sit a lot because of work or because you're taking care of a baby and having to sit in that rocking chair for feeding, um, we're going to get at the muscle, your iliopsoas, so your hip flexor that goes from your spine into the femur and it tends to be very tight when we stay in a flex position. So we're going to open that up today. <clears throat> so come onto all fours, tabletop position, opening up those fingers. And we'll just start with some cat cows, just to warm up the spine a little bit here. Inhale to pull your chin up, chest opening. Exhale to curl, mid back up, curl and down, head down. Inhale, open your heart up, chest up. <clears throat> Exhale to fold. And inhale. And exhale. <clears throat> We're just going to come to a table and we'll start to engage that core so we have a good base through the middle of our trunks. And take your right leg back, left arm forward. And right away, we'll just spin back. See so if you can grab onto hold of your foot and push the earth away from you. I'm doing cow here, but balancing. And just notice how tight, or maybe not tight, your right leg and hip feels. And we'll just release that and come back. Re-engage your core on your exhale. Left leg back, right arm forward. I'm getting some good smiles here. And check on that left side. So I'm noticing tightness on my right side, not so much on the left, which is pretty typical for me being dominant on my right side. And then we'll just take it back to a downward dog and pedal up those feet. Walking them one leg at a time. Then deepen your knee bend to really reach back. Feel your shoulders as you do this. And exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, come in for a half lift. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, push into the earth as you grow tall. Exhale, hands come to the heart. We're going to inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, melt down for forward fold. Take your right leg back. Soften that right knee down to the mat. And open your heart, chest to the window. Climb up your left leg. Squeeze your glute. So we want to squeeze the opposite muscle to open the front here. And then your arms can come up and lengthen your spine. And kind of feel like you're twisting a little bit um, through your heart towards the left side of the room. I think we're just trying to open this hip flexor on that right side. Good, another breath in. Exhale, hands come down. We're going to take the left arm open and wrap that behind our back. And as you twist this left shoulder open, feel that Feel how that affects your right hip and that front. And then we're going to take this left arm, we're going to windmill it open, coming into a twist. Keep squeezing your left glute, right glute, sorry. And then we're going to arch back. Really feeling that opening. Good. Exhale, both arms come down, framing your left foot, coming up high, stepping back to a downward dog. Inhale, reach back, exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, grow tall, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift those arms, exhale, we're going to forward fold, down all the way. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Take that left leg back this time, we'll soften that knee down. Good, let your hips sink towards the earth, squeeze your left butt cheek. Climb up your right leg this time. And when you're ready, those arms come up. Nice big stretch. Start to feel that left side. Keep squeezing that back bum muscle so that you can feel the opening in that left hip flexor. We're taking the heart a little bit up and right this time. <clears throat> Exhale, those arms come down. We'll spin that right arm open. Take it behind you and shoulder twist back. Keep squeezing your bum, opening. You should be able to feel this diagonal chain in your 
everybody. Good, then we're gonna sweep this arm, push into the ground with that right foot to help you power into your twist. And you're still feeling that stretch in that left hip flexor as you twist. And then we're gonna arch back, making it even more intense. Breathing, make sure you don't feel your lower back, so you shouldn't be dumping into your lower back. You're trying to find the length. Open that hip flexor. Exhale, hands come down. Ready, stretch back, downward facing dog. Pedal that up. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Reach and grow. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll let's just take two breaths here to ground our feet and notice how your body feels just with that short little bit of opening. Perhaps feeling a little looser. Let's inhale, arms come up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Take that right leg back. So your option is to repeat what we just did, so knee comes down, or you can keep that leg off the ground this time. Squeeze your right glute, you're gonna climb up this left leg, and then arms come up, dropping your hips towards the earth, but opening through the heart, lengthening through the spine. We're still taking that heart up in a twist towards that left side of the room. Good, arms come down, sweep that left arm up behind your back for easy twist. If you hear creaks or cracks, little pops, that's normal. I just heard a little cavitation in my spine. Feels good. And then we're gonna take this left arm up, stabilize through your legs, coming into your twist. Keep squeezing your right bum and then take your arm back and arch back. Nice big opening here. Good, exhale, both arms come down. And then we're gonna step back to a downward dog. Bend your knees, inhale, exhale to the front. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, breathe in, reach up, bro. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. This time it's the left leg that's going back. Remember, you can bring the knee down. We're gonna squeeze the left butt cheek, climb up the right leg. Okay, and then we inhale up for our stretch. So you're stretching that back hip flexor. So this one, heart up to the right. Exhale, hand, left hand down, right arm comes back up, and then around, twist it open. Keep squeezing your back butt cheek to help you stabilize. Good, and then we're gonna push into the earth with our feet for some balance, and come into a twist. So you're really trying to squeeze your hips, but you're opening the front. You should feel a nice big stretch sort of right shoulder down to that left hip. Good, and then we're gonna arch back, deepening that diagonal stretch, opening it up. This time you'll feel the left side as well. Exhale, both arms come down, push into the earth and step back, down the top. Roll it forward to a plank. Whew, let's do one vinyasa, so we're gonna come up for a cobra, exhale, push back to child's, or tabletop. <sighs> Stabilize through your core, we'll take that right leg, left arm, circle it around, and see, does it feel a little easier? Are you a bit more open? Can you push your foot higher towards that sky? Release, down, let the belly go, engage again. Opposite side, looking up maybe, opening through the shoulder as well, kicking that leg, balancing cat, but the spine is in cow, so extension, release, come back down. Now let's do cat and cow, one more time. And slowly sink your heels back. 
Bum back to your heels for a couple breaths in child pose. Good work. So we opened up our hips a little bit. I got a little bit of a sweat on. I hope you did too. And we'll see you next week for more of our yoga practice. Namaste.